One of the most important functions when I'm planning a tour from my web map is slope angle shading. When I read the forecast from the Avalanche Bulletin, they're gonna tell me what the problems are. As a backcountry traveler, I have a choice to decide what slopes I'm traveling on as far as how steep they are. When I turn on the slope angle layer, it lets me see exactly how steep those layers are in five degree increments. All right, to access slope angle shading, you gotta be in snow mode. Then I'm gonna scroll down to my map layers and I turn on slope angle here. You'll see here that it's color coded based on colors and degrees. You'll see that green is gonna be 20 to 25, yellow is gonna be 25 to 30 degrees, orange, 30 to 35, red, 35 to 40, purple, 40 to 45, and anything steeper than 45 degrees is gonna be blue. I can toggle the opacity here and make it less or more transparent. If you're on your phone, sometimes it can be kind of intense, so I do tend to toggle it down using an iPhone. And of course, I can zoom in and look at various terrain features here. To access slope angle shading in the app, make sure you turn on snow mode. Then you're gonna go ahead and access all of your map layers by hitting the layers button there. Once I'm on the layers button, I have a few options. I can actually toggle through and select different types of maps. And then to actually access slope angled layer, I'm gonna turn that on right there. From here, the legend up top lets me know what the degrees are based on the color. And then I can certainly zoom in here and get that 360 bird's eye view of the terrain. Whether you're planning your next tour from your computer or using the app on your phone in the field, slope angle shading is a vital layer in choosing terrain wisely.